I cut my work hours in half and nobody noticed. Throw away just in case. I started working for an IT company shortly before the pandemic hit. We went full WFH and thankfully that has remained as such ever since. My hours are 9 to 5 with 30 minute unpaid lunch. About 2 months ago I looked at my workload and my hours and realized that I didn't need 7.5 hours to do everything. So I started cutting back more and more. I don't start until 9.30 because nothing ever happens before then anyway. I take a 15 minutes break every hour, 90 minutes for lunch, and stop actually working at 4. Just keeping an eye on the laptop in case something comes up. It never does. I'm pretty sure the bosses stop working before then anyway. So, that's 30 minutes at 9, 15 minutes at 10 and 11, 60 minutes at 12, 15 minutes at 2 and 3, and 60 minutes at 4 that I, they taken out of my work hours. 30 plus 15 plus 15 plus 60 plus 15 plus 15 plus 60 equals 3.5 hours. 7.5 to 3.5 equals 4 hours. I only work 4 hours per day. And guess what? Nothing happened. My workload hasn't increased. My productivity hasn't dropped and nobody has even noticed. I'm getting the exact same amount of good jobs etc that I ever did. Except now I have an extra 3.5 hours per day to do whatever I want with. Don't work harder or smarter. Work as little as you can get away with. Hard work is worthless and efficiency is punished. There's good data to support this too. People are only properly productive for a few hours a day. Beyond that point you slow down a lot. And taking breaks is supposed to be good for efficiency. You're probably just as effective because you're far more efficient this way. And you're less miserable. It's a shame capitalists want their workforce tired and depressed. Or we could all switch over to a model like this. This is one of the reason as to why I want to work from home. I could be paid to work full 8 hours. But most jobs don't work a full 8 hour day and work 3 hours or less. If I am lucky and have a chill boss or management they won't care that I am playing video games. Web surfing. Watching shows. Or doing other things around the house in my downtime. You work 4 hours a day in IT? Thighs are rookie numbers. I think you can do better. Write some scripts and get that down to 1 to 2 hours. I do this myself, but I am always available during 9 to 5 except lunch. I would feel bad but I once saw a paycheck of a VP who probably should have been let go and she was. Making over 10x what I make now and I am pretty sure she works less. A modern office has no idea how long people need to work or what their jobs are. The downside is when people leave and they pawn new jobs onto the remaining people. What no one understood at my old job was that my efficiency was in my knowledge and experience. I could figure out a problem in 5 minutes that would take my replacement hours. Just kidding. They haven't replaced me for over half a year. This is actually playing by the rules. What you're describing is how salaried jobs are supposed to be. Paid to complete the work. Not paid by the hour. If you can finish fast. Then the extra time is yours. Friend of mine takes naps while WFH. They invested in a mouse shaker. You attach it to the mouse and it moves so it looks like you're active online. I had a job where I automated things so much all I ever did was watch a bar go across the screen. Then occasionally walk out of my office and pretend to be busy, stressed. Brother I'm living this life right now. It's pretty much the norm in IT. I'm making over 100 kelvins working maybe 15 hours a week. I kinda feel bad but in those 15 hours I really work hard believe it or not. I do the same. Key is to just make sure you get the assigned work done. 
I won't fight for work to do. Nor will I go out of my way to find work. Management needs to set expectations and they need to be realistic and achievable goals. I work in sales and this year will make about 200k. I am very productive and increase my sales very well. And I'm extremely lucky to work for a company that doesn't believe in managing its sales force. If my numbers look fine, I could go for months without hearing from my boss. I'll reach out if I have a question. But I am left alone completely for the most part. I would say I generally start work around 10.30 minus 11. With a leisurely lunch around 1. And then rarely work past 4. Any day I want to take off. I take off. With the exception of being responsive to clients. Which I am always responsive. Because maintaining and growing business requires that service. I rarely work Fridays. I structure my week about 30% visiting clients. And about 70% simply on my computer entering orders and sending offers. If I want to take a vacation and I'm still capable of entering my orders. I do it. My goal in life has always been to find a way to work as little as possible and get paid as well as. I can. This is the closest I've found to that ideal. And when I work, I am working very intensely. But I do not need 40 hours a week to do well. I would guess it's usually in the 15 to 30 hours of active work depending on the week. To work a desk job and be able to get away with this. I'm still a poor sucker working minimum wage food service. You're being paid the same amount and getting done the same stuff. But working less. If I were to put in half effort at my job I would be fired immediately. IDK what my point is I'm just looking forward to a different future for myself. Slash. Do not let them know this. Company logic is you will produce more by working more. Or else they will hire two people to do your job. Once again company logic. I work at a job where you get punished with extra work if you're quick and efficient. Then management starts to complain about work ethic. Of course. I spend most days sitting at work for 8 hours waiting to go home. Every once in a while I'll have a full day where I am constantly doing something. But they are few and far between. Just wish I could WFH doing that but my job isn't something I can do from home sadly. So I normally browse Reddit or read books. Ha! Similar here. I have been working from home for two and a half years and most days I'd work a couple of hours. Send a few emails here and there. Maybe have a few calls then walk around the house. Mow the lawn. Do some woodworking project. Play some games and still finish by 5 p.m. Going to the office is overrated. I've been WFH for a major healthcare company. I honestly put in a good 15 to 20 hours a week. Busy weeks I've done 45. Dot but those are rare. I work at a job where you get punished with extra work if you're quick and efficient. Then management starts to complain about work ethic. Of course. This is the way. Time to go get a second WFH job. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.